Hello everybody, welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro, where we are in Edmonton, but we're in the playoffs, but we're playing for a team that more or less held us here against our will. That will be forgiven if we win the Stanley Cup, but I don't see that happening. We finished 15th in the league, we were actually very close to not even making the playoffs, but sometimes that's a good thing, so I don't know. Everything's kind of up in the air right now. Our first round opponent is the San Jose Sharks. They finished 10th in the league, so they also weren't super high up there. If we view the lines, have a look at our team right now. We've got Lafreniere playing with Xavier and Mitchell Marner. We also have Hatrick Kane, who's got a bunch of abilities. Holloway and Pool Party on the second line. We've got Brad Lambert down here on the fourth line, who is 83 overall. Was he here last time? I, for some reason, don't remember seeing him, but... Okay, I'm down. Nurse playing with Lilligren. I feel like we have some injuries, no? Yeah, so Nuge is out. Yamamoto's out. Pesci's out. Broberg's out. It's a mess. We do, however, have 92 overall Timothy Jimothy in the cage to hopefully stop some pucks. Let's find out how game one against the San Jose Sharks goes. First period, 1-0 San Jose. Second period, still 1-0. So it's a very close contest so far our first playoff game with the edmonton oilers and we're not really in a hole here it's only a one goal game but we do have to do a little bit of climbing hopefully we are successful eklund tries to enter the zone and he will be shut down immediately nice pass by laffy taffy good headman pass by timothy lilligren marner tries to get fancy at the blue line and loses it what are you doing bud come on savior what a pass Great passing play. Not the best shot on net, though. I like everything else. Maybe just the shot could be a little bit better next time. That will be my first playoff save against the San Jose Sharks. But for the Edmonton Oilers, what a hit. Is that Xavier? He just got rocked. And I mean, technically, it's not our first save because we've played two periods. But we haven't actually played two periods. You know, that's my first real save. What a pass by Eklund over to... Timothy Jimothy Oshi tried to tuck it low. That will be kicked out to Dylan Holloway, who had a clear chance to... What are you doing, Dylan? What's happening right now, guys? Figure it out. Absolutely disgraceful performance from you so far. Yesi tries to go below, but Addison rejects that offer. Bull Party does get it back, but then just gives it up to Hurdle, who gets rocked. And now here comes Bennett. He's over the blue line. Past the defender, but he decides he wasn't feeling it, turns back. The AI in this game never sees to amaze me. Let's get something going here. Nice breakout. That was clean. Sandheim has it. Tries to deke again. Can we knock it off with that? Okay, I respect it. The pass in the middle. Gonna be picked off, though, by San Jose after the shot was blocked. And they are back the other way. But it doesn't matter because our back check is out of control. Good stuff. Addison sends it in. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And I'll send that over that way. Nice pass in the middle. Psych, why did you do that? How about we don't pass it in front every single time I come out to play it? That would be fire. Comtois tries to take a shot. That will also be saved. I'm not throwing it out, so you can leave. Go on, go. We've had a couple chances, but nothing really even close. So we really have to try and get our offense sparked here. Otherwise, we are in trouble. I think I just got a piece of that with the blocker, thankfully. Timo somehow still ends up with it. I tried to slide across, but was not required. The defense managed to get the stick in the way and not allow that shot to get off. What a hit. There's been a lot of big hits. I like that part of the game so far. Defensively, we're doing pretty solid. Not letting them get super crazy chances. Back checking good. It's just the offense right now. We're not generating any offense. And the score would indicate to me that that has been a problem all game long. What was that? Literally just donated them the puck. In the slot, too. Okay, so I'm smothering it because I just want a big old regroup from whatever that was. Draw in by the Sharks. Goes across to Addison, who takes a awful shot. I don't know if his strategy was to go off the boards and bounce out the other side. If it was, then well done. I don't think that was his strategy, though. Nice pass. I thought that was in. That was so close. Down to one minute. Still a 1-0 hockey game. I don't know. We've gotten a couple chances, like I said, but nothing too crazy. 
Our offense just hasn't really been there. Here we go. Lafreniere. Over to Xavier. We keep it in. Nice. Great pass. What a shot and what a save by, I think it's Capo in net, right? This guy's been outrageous. Marner tries to stop up. It kind of works. Finds its way to laugh, but he can't do anything with it. Gets behind the net. Goes back to the D. Borgo. Down to Lafreniere. Who loses it. A big hit. One final shot and it just misses the net. Wow, that came down to the wire. The goalies simply cannot be blamed at all here. 29 shots for San Jose, 24 for Edmonton. How? Okay, that's their goal. Wait, what? I swear it was Capo. Anyway, first star, TJ. No big deal. It did say that their goalie had 14 saves, so maybe Capo got hurt? Or am I just blurring two videos together here? Because I did just record one, and... Kappa was a part of that one, so I I don't know. It's possible. Reach the playoff finals and have a very high form score. I still have no idea what that is, but I think these are pretty much the same. Uh, wait, score... A very high, high form score in the five games leading up to it. Yeah, it's the same thing, just worded differently. Have a high form, a very high. Okay, so let's go with the not very high. And now the coach is going to be pissed that I didn't get a shutout in the first game. Even though they had, what was it, 29 shots and I let him one goal? Get real. Absolutely screw you. All right, let's see if I'm crazy. San Jose, where are you? Boom. Goalies, where are you? Boom. They do have Capo. Is he hurt? Because it said that this guy was second star of the game. I don't know what's going on. Either way, it is time for game number two. Will San Jose win both games in their barn or... Will we be headed to... Okay. <laughs> Amazing start. Phenomenal. First shot of the game. What is he doing out there to get the first shot of the game? What's this all about? Anyway, first period. 1-0. Second period. 1-1. Let's go, Hatrick Kane. Obviously, this is still only the second game. But up till this point in the series, it has been a goaltender duel. Rantanen tries to tuck it. And I'll pass that. I will not pass that, apparently. Try to get it over to you, other Timothy. But the game had other plans. Nice try. Wait, smother it. Yeah. All day. All day. Easy. There's still tons of time for this to go horribly wrong in the third period. But all I'm saying is that through five periods of hockey, there was a total of three goals split between the teams. That's pretty impressive. Oh, no. We have a player down. That's not good. Staying in play. So probably all right. Just going to have to skate it off. Lafreniere right goes over to Marner. Nice. He didn't do a silly little deke this time. Actually kept his composure. Managed to win it back, but no. San Jose clogging up that central area. Doesn't matter, though, because we're back. Xavier! Nice shot. But Capo's all over it. No way. Yamamoto. Wait, I just realized he's back from injury. We should probably step up, then. Guy just gets back from injury. Gets rocked like that. And we're just going to allow it? I think the frig not. <laughs> I'm fighting their goalie immediately. Glove save. Throw it out. Get the puck up the ice so I can go Tilly what's-his-face. Pool party. Come on now. Can't be that hard to get the puck in their zone, can it? Let's duel. Is there going to be any equipment flying? Dodge. Try it again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get blocked, bud. Oh, what was that? Hit a whole lot of air right there. Okay, all right. Let's chill. Let's chill. And dodge, punch, dodge. Oh my word, GG, no re. Go for it. Can I, why can I never get the tuck? Whatever. Easy dub. Literally not even a challenge. Four on four action. Hopefully, we will be able to get some more offense generated on a four on four. But, probably not, if I'm going to be honest. What was that shot? You could have done so much more there. I'm not going to complain. Because you made it easy on me. But, <laughs> oh, I think he's upset. He heard me talking absolute trash about his attempt. And he's like, hey, yo, what? Addison enters the zone, goes in the middle. That will be kicked aside. Battle behind the net. Somehow finds its way over there. Ranton is probably going to level him. Sure did. Sandheim goes behind. Nice, seamless. I like it. Great headman pass to Holloway. Gains the blue line. Does literally nothing with it. Nice try in the slot, but another great save from Capo. 
We still have it. Back to the point. In the slot again! That was a weak shot and it almost found its way in. Marner finds Lafreniere again. This guy's had eight chances in the last 3.2 seconds. I like it. I don't like it. Kept it in. He kept it in. Rants in and goes for a shot. It's blocked. Wow. I don't know why that scared me so much, but that just zipped right across the crease. And I was not ready for it. Sandheim has it. Almost gets leveled, but managed to kind of firm it. Another unnecessary deke gets 1-9 dropped like a two-foot putt. The physicality in this series is off the charts. The offense, nowhere to be found, really. Physicality, though, it's there. The crowd getting behind the hometown team here in San Jose in the Shark Tank. But it doesn't matter because we're still going to win. Calling it right now. Just wait. Just wait and see. Oh, she. You can't score on me. Timothy Jimothy cannot score on Timothy Jimothy. It just simply does not work that way. Yeah, I don't think so, bud. Nice try, but how about give up? This guy's like John Cena over here. Never giving up. Holloway. Nice passing. Reed got his stick in there. That would have been it. Kane had it teed up. Guaranteed goal. But it was blocked by a great defensive play. Here comes Kane again. Enters the line, the zone, whatever you want to call it. Yamamoto, back from injury! What a legend! He scores with 12 seconds left to give the Edmonton Oilers a one-goal lead. Kyler Yamamoto. Show me the replay. I got to see this. What a sharp angle as well. Gets it. Capo. He was even hugging the post. How'd this go in? Did they show another replay? No. All right. Fine. I'll do it myself. He picks it up. And he just... Yeah. No. He wasn't hugging the post good enough. What a goal. With that, we are headed to Canada with a best of five on our hands and also a fight W or a scarp, if you will. I make one typo and I'm never going to live it down. Both goalies still stealing the show in this one. Really a defensive battle so far. Let's find out if that will continue to be the case in game number three or if we will see some offensive explosion. First home playoff game, first period. 2-1 for Edmonton. We get one from Kane, one from Hyman, and Comtois will score for the San Jose Sharks. Second period, 3-1. Matheson buries one. We got the insurance marker headed into three. Here we go. We're on the power play, and we have the chance to take a 2-1 series lead with a dub. Marner, who I feel like has been pretty quiet in this series so far, gains the zone, but doesn't really do much with it. Lafreniere takes it, and that is a lengthy poke check. From Capo in the cage. It is now even strength. Ernie goes cross ice to Studnika. I will get that. Yes, please. Pass that over to you. Marner. What a stellar breakout that was. Magnificent passing from the lads. And Yam gets dropped again. Mans has been back for two games now. And he is getting ragdolled. Just a punching bag out there. Nice. There you go. He was picking on Yamamoto again. And we made him pay. Finally. What was that tip? That was outrageous. Still made the save somehow. But are you kidding me with that? Point. Finds Rantanen. Now Timo has it. And he's going to somehow get that under the blocker. Unbelievable. Nice hit. Let's go with that. There's now five goals in this game. So there has been more goals scored in this game than in the entire series so far. Oshi behind the net. Come on. From one Timothy Jimothy to another. Smarten up. Nice. I don't... No. That's not it. That is not... That is it. Our lead has now been cut down to a one goal lead. And the Sharks are really trying to tie this thing up. They now have a power play. Not good. They win the draw to Reed. Over to Rantanen. Goes back. A one-timer. That was up high. Send that over to you. What you. Get it out! Literally shoot the puck down the ice. What are we doing? I have never been so upset. You know what? I am not going to stand behind that statement. I have certainly been more upset before, but... Definitely disappointed with our penalty. Like, send it down the ice! I don't know what EA has done, but they never send it down anymore on the PK... Goalies don't get pulled anymore. It's... What happened? I can't call out the offense anymore. Three goals should be enough to win a hockey game. So at this point, it's on me. And the defense a little bit here as well. 
I let in two goals so far. No, yeah, of course that's no goal. Guy just did a drive-by. Show me the replay. I gotta see this again, just to see how despicable it was. Yeah, no shot. Guy's in the crease, tying me up. 0% chance that's a goal. Seven minutes to go. This has certainly been an offensive game compared to what we're used to. Maybe not to some other series that might just be complete shootouts, but... The first two games were nothing. And now, we have five goals in one single game. Sharks back on the attack. Oh no, it's a good attack too. You're gonna count that one? It's not being waved off. I don't believe what I'm seeing right now. Instant replay. He literally charged me. Like, what do you want me to do here? I make the save, and then, like, I guess, are they trying to say that maybe our defenseman pushed him in or something? I mean, I guess he kind of, I don't know. And we now have six goals in one game. I actually don't like our chances in this one at all. We have been having a miserable third period so far. They're getting chances like nobody's business. Oh, she has it in the slot. Pass it back. I think that got tipped, right? It was the weakest shot of all time. Just a floater coming in. And I believe that might have been Oshi in the middle. Got a piece of that. But it didn't change direction enough that Timothy Jimothy wasn't able to save it. Come on. Nice pass. Great try. 30 seconds. Marner. He's in. Does nothing. But it's okay because we get it back and Capo gonna save the game with his oven mitt. The food was in the oven ready to come out. And nobody had an oven mitt except for Capo. What a glove save. Whoa, 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 whoa. Literally would not have been surprised if that went in. In fact, I expected it to. One second, overtime. They also took a penalty right at the end, apparently. So we have the power play to start this OT. I like it. Keep it in, keep it in. Nice. Or go. Finds Yamamoto to laugh another amazing save. Who invited that guy? What's he doing over there? Saving literally everything. I mean, to be fair, ooh, that was close. That was almost another yam, ga uh, another yam game. Yeah, that's what it was. I mean, technically that was a yam game because he scored with 12 seconds left to get a dub. I'd call that a yam game. But uh, regardless, that's not what I meant to say. Yep. Yeah, yep. Where's my players? There's my players. Come on, Kyler. Close out another game. Nice pass to Pool Party, who tried to go five hole, I think. Did not succeed, though. Well, I just realized we have Nuge back. How long has he been here? Okay, so our injuries aren't really plaguing us anymore. It seems like a lot of our players are coming back, thankfully. We're not going to have another Alex Petrangelo on our hands. What a save again. Can we... Catch a break here. This guy's saving everything. Nurse. Great hit. I like it. Pool party. To Nuge. Gets knocked off of it. Arguably too easy. Yeah, right, TJ. That's saved. Rebound is saved. What a mess. Easy save. I almost did it again. Actually, I think the last time I did it was against Edmonton. And they still had McDavid. I could be recalling that horribly wrong, but <laughs> that feels true. Nice pass! What is this guy? Capo's just being a nuisance at this point. Nice. Power play inbound. That was a lot. Just a ton to process all at once there. Doesn't matter. Reed, get off the ice. They actually dumped the puck down. I am shocked. I thought that wasn't a thing. Easy pass over there to Pool Party, who actually doesn't pass it in front of the net for once. What a pleasant changeup. Drops it for Kane. That will be picked up by Holloway. Oh no. Oh no. They have a breakaway. I have to do it. I have to flying poke check. <laughs> the flying poke check was not a success. But somehow, the puck still did not cross the line. Capo, knock it off already. Like, we get it, you're sick. Now how about you let in a goal? And we all go home. Sounds like a plan to me. Yes? Yes? 
I just simply cannot be bothered. I don't even remember the last time we've seen a double OT and be a pro. Nope. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Smother it. Actually, don't because the puck is long gone. Kane has it. Nice pass. The laugh. Goes to take a shot. He gets hit, though. Ranton and the Sharks back on the attack. Eklund going to get knocked over. Oh, no. Ferraro. He's wide open. Kicked aside. Over to Sandheim. I don't know what happened there, but he got wrecked. We've definitely had majority of the chances in this overtime period. And somehow, we aren't able to crack the code, even though we've done it three times already in this game. That shot block probably didn't matter, because he would have saved it by flashing the leather there anyway, I bet. We are 10 seconds away from a double OT. Pool Party just loses it. Bennett battling. And it looks like he's going to win that battle and ensure this game does, in fact, go to a double overtime. Eklund over to Rantanen. Saved past that. Out into the empty corner. Darnell Nurse picks it up. Nice breakout. Xavier, he's in. Nice little move. Nice pass. If Laugh picked up that rebound, Capo was nowhere to be found. I shouldn't act like that means we were going to score, though, because it wouldn't be the first, second, or third time that I've been blown away by a save he made. This all could have been avoided had I just not let in two goals in the third period. How? How have we not scored yet? Nice! It's Yamamoto again from the sharp angle to finally put this thing away. And give the Edmonton Oilers the lead in the best of five. Thank you, Kyler. The shots were 49 to 35. Great job, lads. There's a lot to be cheering about after that one. I mean, not so much from the goalie. I didn't do great. I did let in three goals. But apparently, the coach is still happy. His feedback's all positive. Okay, we have a 2-1 series lead against the San Jose Sharks in round number one. Stats central. Let's have a look at how our team is doing individually so far. Four points from Kyler in two games. Yeah, because he didn't play the first one. He was injured. Legend. Kane has three. And where is our first line? Anywhere to be found. Nudes down here, zero in two games. Laugh, zero in three games. Marner, zero in three games. Playoff Ghost. So we'll start off next episode in Edmonton, and then, if needed, we will play two games in San Jose. But hopefully, it is not required. Or, at least hopefully, this series will finish in the next episode, and not with them winning three straight. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon.